I've I've got one very important uh, one to talk about. I want to talk about what happened to William Broad in 1990. I like the way you've set it up. I don't know anything about this. Uh, <laughs> William Broad. William Broad. He, of course, he changed his name, uh, and his name was Billy Idol. You know, he was um, part of the Bromley contingent. In 1971, well, they moved to Bromley, and he went to Ravensbourne School. Now, in 1990, he, I mean, he was, his massive, band was, he was massive X. in the 80s. His band was Generation X. Generation X, but were, then he went to America. Well, no, so yeah, he, but Generation X is mentioned in the book. As yes, being it is. So the, it can't be him. But Charlie in Charlie the book is very is much, very much Billy Idol. Yeah, very much. And then going to America and getting big, doing White Wedding and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Rebel, Rebel Yell. Yell. All that. I mean... It's so Charlie. Yeah, it really is. It's got to be. Now, look, the the only problem was that in 1990, he had a terrible motorbike crash. Oh, he did, yes. Just before his motorcycle accident, he had been cast in Oliver Stone's The Doors with quite a chunky role as Jim Morrison's best mate, Cat. Oh, really? And it had the accident presented him from participating, so his part was reduced to something next to nothing. He was left on the cutting room floor. Oh, my God. They rewrote the whole thing. But here's an even more ridiculous thing. Yeah. Is that um, uh, he'd been booked after doing The Doors. He was going to play the villainous T-1000 Terminator in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. No way. And then because of his bike crash, it got recast. Oh, wow. But he was going to be the Terminator. That would have been quite something, wouldn't it? Billy Idol. Billy Idol. I, that, that changes the whole film for me. Yeah.